Our first story is about a place we found that offers a taste of Celtic cuisine in the town of Tullahoma. It's owned by a couple whose trips to Ireland and Scotland inspired them to open up the gathering spot of their dreams. The Emerald Isle of Ireland is far away from the town of Tullahoma, Tennessee. Yet after you discover flags fronting this restored 1920s craftsman home, you might feel a whole lot closer. Inside the Celtic Cup, the decor is reminiscent of a 19th century pub. The food and drink are genuine and the mood is friendly. The proud owners, Chris and Denise Smith, opened the place when Chris retired from the military while stationed at Arnold Air Force Base. At the time, their sites were simply on a traditional coffee shop. We've had a lot of different military assignments, and one of the things that we would do is try to find the local coffee house at our new assignment, right? Because that's kind of the, the hub. You get the feel yeah. of the community that way. And when we came here to Tullahoma, we started looking around, I was like, where's, there where's the coffee one. house? There wasn't one. And so we, in the back of our mind all this time, we had this idea that Tullahoma needs a coffee house. Well, not just any coffee shop, this place needed a special identity, a theme, if you will. We tried different themes. We had one at, On did, paper, just kind of yeah, brainstorming it all. One, it was a 50s diner, you know, with black and white tile and that kind of yeah. stuff. But. Uh, but I think this fits us much better. Um, we yeah. tied the Celtic mm -hmm. with the coffee house, and people are like, well, Celts don't drink coffee or didn't drink coffee, but you're missing the point. This is kind of modeled after yeah. an Irish pub. The Celtic Cup has enjoyed a dedicated local following and a growing number of out of town visitors. After you take in the warm pub-like feel of the place, well, you can enjoy a proper cup of tea or coffee just about any way you want it, even with a little bit of extra Irish spirit. Now, some people just come for the scones and other pastries or a taste of Italy from the gelato bar. On the menu, though, you'll find a selection of authentically made Celtic lunch favorites. We have scotch eggs, Dragon eggs. A, a, a dragon egg is a spicy version of a scotch egg. And if you don't know yeah. what a scotch egg is, like, you take a, a boiled egg, you wrap it in sausage, and then we bake ours off. Denise also makes a tasty Irish version of Welsh rarebit. The cheese sauce that I make has four-year-old aged Irish cheddar in it and about five types of mustard. And then, so that's the sauce, and then we put Irish uh, Dublino cheese on that, and then the the rasher, if you're not familiar with the rasher, it's Irish ba back bacon. And then um, we put tomatoes on it and then more cheese and then you toast it. And so we built our um, Celtic menu over time, making sure that we did it right we, when we went to Ireland and we went to Scotland and we tasted the foods and we talked to the locals and then you find people who have been there who know it. Um, you know, a local Scotsman or an Irishman who can authenticate it for you and say, yeah, that's, that's just like grandmother made her. We have some wonderful staff and their heart is into the business and they, they work hard and they love what they do and um, I think we have a great relationship with them. Once a week, the upstairs dining room is occupied by the Highland Rim Tatters. Now, tattering is a technique for handcrafting durable lace from a series of knots and loops. Tatting is more of a, what's considered a new lace. It's only been around for a couple hundred years. <laughs> for a truly decadent treat, there's always the old Irish tradition of afternoon tea, complete with finger sandwiches, scones, cakes, and fruit. And after all this, it seems like a traditional nap might be in order. The Smiths moved around a lot during Chris's military career. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming in. Love your place. But they found a true home here in Tullahoma, a place where together they can pursue a Celtic American dream. And it's taken us 14 years to get to this point, but uh, yeah, we're really having Really having a blast right now. We've had folks come in here and they see the place and they go, wow, 
could you open a place like this in LA or San Francisco no. or Chicago <laughs> or even New York? We've had some folks from New York and we got, yeah. no, no, this is the one of a kind. <laughs> Hey, how'd you like the story? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you enjoyed it, we have a lot more where that came from. Here's one you might like. And please click here to subscribe so you'll know when we premiere new videos. Thanks for watching.